the next level. Pro Strokes Analysis. Tips and tricks to take your tennis game to the next level. Visually learn how to go from good to great. The forehand. Most of the commonalities of the forehand are shared with all the top pros. So here I've got a few good examples. Let's look at Aliza. Look at her shoulder turn. Look at how her left hand stays on the racket as her body pivots. Look at the shoulder turn. Look how the swing goes in the direction of where she wants to hit. Next is Nikolai Davidenko. Look at his wrist. See, there's no wrist movement before the contact point. It is rock steady. And only after contact does the wrist flick over. Almost as if there's a 90 degree angle between the back of the hand and the forearm. Look at Djokovic. His head still stays totally still. It's a very quiet head. He has a very compact swing. His hand drops. Look how close the racket faces. He really gets below the ball on this forehand. Here we have Robbie Ginepri. Look carefully at Robbie. He steps in. Not a big step, but he definitely has a weight transfer from his back foot right through to his front foot as he hits the ball. So there's definitely a weight transfer from the back to the front foot. Next we have Julien. You can also see the weight transfer from the back to the front foot. But look at that knee bend. And then as he about to hit the ball, he straightens and all the energy comes up and over through the ball. Here we have Carlos Moyer. Look at the split step. Look how he gets ready for the ball. He's getting prepared. He body has a body pivot. Closed racket face. He has a nice relaxed loop. Remember, he is very relaxed body. He has a very relaxed upper body and he just swings through the ball keeping the loop. There's only a lot of wrist movement, remember, after contact and not before. Here we have Nadal, compact, he really sets up, gets nicely behind the ball, and then he explodes into action. He really comes from at least about a foot or a foot and a half underneath the ball and explodes up into contact. Now let's look at David. David has a very classical swing. He has a good shoulder turn. His left hand was on the racket. His racket is dropping below the ball. He has a good hand-to-hand -hand at the end. Look how the two hands meet at the top of the swing, and his head stays still. Really a nice swing. You really got underneath the ball too. Here we have Simon. He gets away from the ball. Look how he's moving away from the ball. He definitely wants to get the right distance away from the ball so he can really swing at the ball. Otherwise, you're jammed. And getting jammed is not a good thing. Here we have Davif. Look how his weight transferred from his back to his front foot. He has a nice big step. He transfers through. And look how quiet his head is. And there's only a little bit of wrist after contact. Here we have Gulbis. Gulbis. Look at when he turns. Look at that left elbow. It's a nice setting up position. He pivots. Left hand stays on the racket. His body and his shoulders pivot. He holds for a while. And then the racket just drops. He has a very nice compact swing. He has a closed racket face. And he swings up. And there's hand to hand at the end of the swing. Here we have... Federic. Federic's very good example of the whole swing too. But look at those legs. He really uncoils. Look at that back foot, how it coils and uncoils. And then the knee goes up. And then the hips turn and the shoulders turn. And the swing goes through. Really nice weight transfer. Here we have Gilles Simon. He head stays down. And he has a great recovery. You still see the same typical shoulder turn, pivot, nice loop, closed racket face, no, no wrist movement at all before contact. Once contact has occurred, he flips over a little bit. And here we finish off with Maria Kirilenko. She has a great compact swing, a very nice upright posture, closed racket face, and she gets underneath the ball and she swings up. Look how quiet her head is, and she swings through the ball. All these pros share the same commonalities.